Decography skills with creativity. Please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and click the bell to be notified when we post new videos. Yeah, good evening, guys. Welcome back to Deco Graphic Design Training. I believe we are doing great today. Uh, I want to uh, show you how you can make a modern and awesome logo, business logo on your Android smartphone as usual. And I will show you step by step on how you can extract your marker, how you can present your logo in that marker in an easy step. The first thing that we need to do is to determine the size. If you don't have any experience or you don't have any knowledge about the size in PCL app, you don't need to entertain, worry. Go to, uh, adding directly to your Google, open your Chrome and, log, and type a Google. When you get to your Google, just type whatever the sizes you want in PCL. Take it for instance. If I want any size, I will just go to my Google and type A4 size in PCL. Copy the digits and come as to directly to this place and put it there. Let's take it for instance, this size is an, uh, 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 this is a, what they call the square size. One, two, zero by one, two, zero, because the size, uh, the height and the width are the same. So when the length and the breadth are the same, they call it a square size. Let's take it for instance, if I type 921, 921, 921 by one, two, zero, this is a size for, a4 paper, as you can see. When you search your view, you can get it in PCL. Then other things, if it is an envelope, you can put it there, envelope size in PCL. You see the variety. When you put it there, then you can get the same size. When you say banner size in PCL, you see the many, you don't have any cost, you don't have any excuses not to get the sizes you want using your PCL app. And another thing, don't let anybody intimidate you. If you design anything on your PCL app, you can print it as perfect as you design it. You don't lose any quality. As long as you save with Ultra and you get to where you want to print it, just send it to them. Let them copy it from whatever you use, whatever the device which you use to save it. Let them copy it on your, to their system before they print it so that it won't give issue. And you convert it. This is what I've been doing even to many schools. I print their certificate. And in printing their certificate, they give me this a contract. Every year, as their students are graduating, I will be the one to design the certificate. They will just give me the number. I have the design being saved on my uh, on my tep, uh, on my PLP as my PLP. I will just go there, edit all their names, the signature that they will just sign it after I print it. And it doesn't lose any quality. They use Concrete paper to print it using the color printer and everything come perfectly. So without wasting much of our time, let's just come here and insert the size. So I want to use the square size as I said. So I'm coming here and I use the square size. So which is this? After that, I will go here, go to the uh, select the shape. My radius, I will make it to be 100. Then use my relative position to position to the center. Then after that, I will tap, click on the layer and have it lock. Now come back to color. Then you apply this particular color or this, any of the two. After applying the color, adding directly to your gallery and bring this particular uh, uh, fish. Fish PNG, you bring it directly to this place. And how do I got this? How do I tell uh, people? You can get this by, uh, uh, you can get it by going to Google or go to www.pngegg.com. This is where I got it. Then you have it uh, uh, downloaded. You select the one you want, then you use it to save uh, your project. So now as it is, I'm just going to uh, reduce the size and uh, don't have it forget to hit the here. subscribe button oh, and the bell icon by increasing this a bit then i will have a position to the center bring my uh, uh, my fish and the fish must uh i will increase it the mouth i want to position it the way i want it anyway i want it to be the way i want it so i want it to be like this so you can see right I want it to be like this. So the next thing is to go to layer and lock the two. After that, the next thing I'm going to do is to put the uh, uh, the name. 
the brand name so which i want to put flash fish we'll close flashy fish flashy fish so you can see so the next thing we need to do after writing the flashy we we'll go to the font type so what kind of font you can use that will really bring uh, what you really wanted to do so let's say for instance i want to use uh, this particular font let's say crimson crimson font so i want to use that so i will not boot this one okay i want i won't boot this i will just uh, make it sorry please so i will just make it to be like this then increase it very well this is flashy then i will have it all uh, let me just uh, go to the color area then give it a black color click on plus sign then you move the upper one towards the edge so that it can be uh, uh, dark very well now copy then you edit the same thing and put fish you can see so we have a flashy fish sorry we have a fish so we have a flashy fish now go to the style and uh, just boot it now increase it to make sure that uh, it align. Are you, are you getting it? You make sure everything is aligned properly. Are you getting it? So we can increase the size a bit. Increase the size. So very good. So after making it align properly, the next thing we need to do is to put a slogan. Okay. So we just can just come here and put a slogan. Let's say the text of aroma. The text of aroma. Okay. So we put this in capital letter. Go to the font area as well and have it change uh, by putting Roboto condensed. Roboto condensed. And it will be in between this as well. If possible, there should be more space in between them. So we have something like this. Okay. Perfect. So as you can see, we are done with everything. Then we put a black uh, color here too for everything. So after that, we are done with our logo. Then we put it in transparent icon. I mean transparent background. Then we save with the ultra. Then with PNG, have everything saved. Then I want to use another background here. So which I'm going to just come here under this and uh, put a white background. So that we have something like this so after that the next thing i'm going to do is to just uh, have it save as well so what we're going to do next is to add to our chrome browser and uh, present it on the mock-up and see how everything will be so let's go to our chrome browser but before we go to our chrome browser i want to first of all teach you how you can uh, edit uh, the mock-up we want to use so let's take for instance i come to my gallery i mean to my whatsapp this is the mock-up link, as you can see, this is it. Then you tap on it. After tap on it, you need to download it first. As you can see, when you open it, you see it like this. This is the marker. Then the nice thing you can do is to share. Just come to share. No, sorry. We'll come Don't here forget to, to hit the subscribe open. button and the bell icon. We'll come here and say, send a copy. Make a copy. Rename, move, details. You can see so let's see first of all we open with what so it must download after you click open with then you should be looking at the screen until when it's gone download so after click open with after done downloading it will bring some application that can open this particular file your mindset is z archiver the z archiver is an application that has meant for extraction you go to your uh, play store get an application called Z archiver forget about whether your phone is having uh, is capable or doesn't have a capability to run it the step is very very necessary when you get the steps the other things are very very simple so let's just continue you see after i open it then uh, what did i see here you see it was asking me to open with what with several things so i'm coming here then i will come here just click open open with so you can see so let me let me share i want to share so where am i sharing it to i'm looking for z archiver 
you can understand i'm looking for z archiver so this is it you click ok so after that you click on password one two three four five then after clicking click on back then look it where you want to save it okay so you come here under the alarm that is where i want it to be saved then i will click ok now the next thing i want to do after compress it i will come to the alarm i will decompress tap on it and extract here now put the password there one two three four five then you click ok you see when you look at it this is it you have already decompressed this is how it must look before you download you see the compressed one the one we have already uh, 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 zip the zip one is 5.37 while the compressed one is 20.999 so now let's add into our chrome browser and see how we can present the logo on the markup so welcome back guys this is uh my chrome browser you can see i'm uh, at the uh, uh, uh photo p interviews just go to your chrome browser as usual then type www.photopool.com on getting here the next thing you are going to do this is the new this is what you must have uh, uh, seen and experienced on your phone then tap open from computer adding the way we save our psd file that is alarm then you have it this is the 5.64 the one i told you that is in zip this is on zip one then you tap on it you wait for it to load, then you continue with the editing. Let it don't uh, let it load. Then we can I will show you how you can place your design as usual. There's no any trick there. Forget about how whether your phone is having is capable. Now you see the results as shown. Look here, there is a layer. This is it. You tap on it, place your logo here. The first icon, double tap the black spot, hide it by clicking the eye icon beside it. Click on layer to be back. Click on file and click open and place. Look at where you have your design that we just finished now. Where do you save it? On PCLR folder. Then you tap on it. Brought it back by importing it here. Okay. After getting it here, you move it up a little bit and enlarge it. Just enlarge. okay so after increasing the size you make sure that uh, you you just drag from the and icon here yeah, you drag it out why are you dragging it out because you want it to fit in remember your input will determine your output what do i mean by this the way you place your logo that is how it will come out so you need to think and place it properly so that you will not redo it again if you make it smaller the way you imported it you, you you transform it that way that is how it will come out very small and you might not be able to make it large again except you want to just zoom out and screenshot which shouldn't be because some quality will be lost though you can rectify that by modification but you don't need to do that just let everything be raw one so after expand it i mean zoom it out to make it a big then you click on the file sorry you click on the file here then you click on save with smart object if you follow the steps strictly you see sorry you click on the save with smart objects then you'll be looking at the screen of the computer if you follow the steps strictly smart object updated then tap here if you follow the steps strictly the way i show you you don't need you don't have any problem you get a better result but if you miss any of the steps, don't just assume follow the steps i have several ways of doing this you see the way I extract the mockup, there is a normal way you can extract the mockup, but some people find it difficult to do that. Are you getting it? That's why I show you that way. You can zip the file and unzip at your own. Then you look at the result. Yeah? You see how the result look. Then you can click on file. Look at where we have an export. Then you export as PNG. Be looking at the screen of your phone. Then you click with save with. Just save it. Then you download then open let's see how it look then you can see the result very awesome right so this is just a simple way or now you can come up with a, 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 a 3d logo very, very simple more than 3d logo on your android smartphone using your pc lab and your photo p i believe we will learn something from here thanks for watching don't forget to drop your comment on your way out if you're a new subscriber please keep, keep please 
click the bell icon so that you can be notified whenever i update my channel with more than an amazing video like this and if you are new to my channel please hit the subscribe button please to encourage me more so subscription is totally free just subscribe please please and please and don't forget to turn on the bell icon so that you can be notified as well i update my channel with amazing content like this and if you have any design in mind that you want me to make a tutorial on don't forget just drop the comment i will personally look into that thanks for watching once again god bless you